that you mingle with, you want to be in church every day. Because they're too sweet. Am I talking to somebody here? May God give you such people in Jesus' name. Amen. I say, may God give you such people in Jesus' name. Amen. And now, the enemy wants you to be in the area of proposing and dispropose in order to continue mashing you up. But I pray, be wise. Look at three persons and say, be wise. Be wise. Say it again, say, be wise. Be wise. Say it again, say, be wise. Be wise. Say it again, say, be wise. All you need to do, number one, you have to pray a prayer within yourself and say, ladies of darkness, men of darkness, I am not your candidate. Ladies of darkness, men of darkness, I am not your candidate. Ladies of darkness, men of darkness, I am not your what? Your candidate. That is number one. And if you want to be free from this, you need to know the weapon of your warfare. Know that it's not carnal. That's right. Know that it's not what? Yes, know the weapon of your what? Warfare. warfare. Yeah. Number three, number three, know the name of your Lord. Know the name of your what? Lord. Know the name of your what? Lord. Number four, know the blood of Jesus. Amen. Number five, know the word of God. Number six, have the weapon of prayer. Number seven, know when your angels are on guard. There are many of us, before anything happens, something talk to you. Yes. But you disrespect them. Yes. That is your angel that is guiding you. That's right. Number five, know how to invoke the fire. Number eight, know how to invoke the fire of God. Invoking the fire of God help you is one of the weapons of your deliverance. Invoke the fire. Sometimes you need to prophesy against some certain things. Like in Trinidad, you don't need to be praying. Uh, Oh God, protect our children from kidnapping. That prayer is long overdue. Mm. Prophesy over it. All ye killers and kidnappers, I sentence you to death. As you sleep, die. Amen. If your pastors will join their hands together and just, just on TV, just on TV. Or oh, you have prophets in this town, those prophets just come on TV, join their hands and release Somebody here. Yes. It's not prayer. You pray today. Oh God, save our children from kidnapping. Next day, somebody missing. <laughs> Amen. So sometimes release a word. When you see things that is not working around well in your family, just come to church and say, Father, enough is enough of this nonsense. Yes. This situation must change. Whosoever that is involved, I give you 72 hours. Sometimes, if you don't want to give a short time so that you can continue to decree, he said, From now, I give you 90 days, confess and die. Watch and see what will happen. Pass a decree over your house, and when you pass such a decree, watch it, it will come to pass. I'll test it. The only thing that makes it delay is that. You doubt in your heart. When I talk, I don't doubt. When I talk, I have built myself to the point that when I talk, I don't doubt. Help me to, to talk and don't doubt. I want to be someone here. Talk and don't doubt. And the problem again, we have we talk, we doubt, and we don't even read the word of God. And the thing talking to us, we are talking to ourselves, we think we are talking. Sometimes I wake up in the night. Any person that knows me, I don't pray long prayer. The only thing that I pray long is maybe I'm leading you in prayer here to make sure we all go to the same frequency. 
Apart from that, I don't talk. I walk with my mind. First of all, I channel my mind and I say anything I say, I don't doubt it. And that's why if I have nothing to say, I tell you it is well. How many of you have been hearing that from me? Yes. It is well. There is nothing again. It is well. Count it all joy. It is well. Relax. Because sometimes if you don't relax, you panic. When you don't relax, you panic. Yes. And when you panic, the enemy strikes you. Yes. Because you lose your balance. Yes. That's why I always tell people, it is well. The next thing you will hear from me, relax. Just relax. It's okay, relax. It is well. And I'm not the kind of person, every day I see, I say, the Lord say, the Lord say, the Lord. So God don't know what again to tell you. No, 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 no. So God doesn't know any other thing to take. Uh, no, no, no. It's not like that. Relax. Look at your neighbor and say, relax. relax. Say it again, say, relax. relax. What number now? Nine. Number nine. Watch what you eat. Watch what you do what? You eat. eat. There are some things you eat that is not good in your body. Yes. I'm telling you. There are some things you eat. I will not call it forbidden. But it's against your spirit. It's against the angel that they sent on you. Everything is good to eat. But there are things you eat that is against the spirit that is guiding you. Depending on the... <laughs> it, 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 it works in different ways. So you are going to get those things you want to ask now. Like what? You are going to get it in our book, The Mystery of the Strong Man. You get it, you will not understand what to eat and what not to eat. When to pray and when not to pray. There are things you eat, you'll be so heavy, like the disciples of Jesus. <laughs> they were so heavy and they start sleeping in the hour of prayer. <laughs> Amen. They start sleeping in the hour of prayer. So mind what to eat. Mind what to eat. It is very important that you mind what you eat. Other than eat, what take them out of the garden? Is it not what they eat? Yes. There are things you eat, your angel will chase you away. Yes. Wow. There are things, I'm telling you. Even you yourself, try it, try this. Have you asked yourself, there are pastors that anytime they come to preach, they wear only one particular clothes. Yeah. Yeah. Does, does it mean they don't have any other thing to wear? No. no. They have, that is what their angel yeah. want them to wear. There are some people that can maybe there is nothing you do that will make them eat pork. There are things there is nothing you do that will make them eat chicken. There are people that there are nothing you will do that will make them eat any meat at all. They are just strict on one particular thing. Just mind what you eat. Can I hear somebody say mind what you eat? Mind what you eat. I always use Adam and Eve to show the example because it's just ordinary thing they eat. The Bible says it's fruit. I don't know the name of that fruit, whether it's still around now. But the, so the fruit should be around, maybe in different ways right now. So when you eat your own forbidden fruit, they leave you. Just like somebody like me, if, if, I, if you use the pot you use in cooking pot, the, the, pot, the, the pot you use in cooking pork, um, give me food. If I eat it, I will just, either I throw off, I just, I will not be no more. I will not feel well. So for that, I I don't eat everywhere. I don't even go to London and say I need breakfast because every breakfast in London is pork. Amen. So I don't eat it and I don't... So when you mind it, that is why when you go to some countries, you discover there are kind of food you go to. People you go to their place to eat. Sometimes people prefer eating in a Muslim restaurant because they know in Muslim restaurant number one there's no pork, and they will even write it there. Uh, yeah. So if people prefer like if I go to London from an airport, I'm looking for that, and sometimes you see the Syrian people. Some of them, you go there. 
a savage because no pork. And some people, that is why you go there, you see people facing one restaurant. You say, what is it? It's just like in your country, even in the midnight, everybody line up in caves. KFC can never make money in Nigeria. Never. You will see KFC, nobody's going to. What are they going to do? They have other, other food they can eat and get okay, not KFC. Amen. But when you come, praise God, there's KFC. We will we'll supply to you. Amen. <laughs> There are some things in you know the Bible called uh, uh, feeding at the table at the table of the devil. There are things. Go and read the book of Daniel. There are things Daniel refused to eat. And I told you yesterday. I don't know how many of you that remember what yeah, I told you. Yes, yes. Can somebody just help me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can somebody yeah, yeah, yeah me now yeah. by talking it by saying it? No, no, no. And what? Fire. Now, Daniel, why did Daniel get that spirit? I mentioned it yesterday. This spirit is not the Holy Ghost. No. It's an excellent spirit. It's excellent spirit. Yes. It's not Holy Spirit. No. Excellent spirit make people prefer you than yes. another. Amen. 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 Do you know why yes. a man is you are living with a man he prefer another woman? Because that person have a spirit he preferred and you. Yes. So that is why I'm going to pray today that you must have that excellent spirit. Amen. 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 And you know, when Daniel had that excellent spirit, he was preferred more than the president. Yes. And I told you, do you know why your country preferred to deal with Syrians and China? Yes. Than you. Yes. There are things they don't eat and you are busy eating it. You are eating it, Mama. No. Even in Chinese, they eat Even Chinese, what Chinese give you? They don't eat it. That's right. They don't eat it. So there are certain food you start eating. Yeah. People will prefer you than their Indian brothers. 